Hey, what's going on guys? It is Chuck here and today for this Firebot tutorial, we are taking a closer look at on-screen overlays and we'll be playing with counters. Uh, if this is the first video that you've seen of my uh, Firebot tutorial series, I highly recommend you go back and watch other videos. Uh, you'll see a playlist uh, on the side uh, and you'll also see previous videos linked down below in the description. So today's tutorial is actually going to be doing uh, a couple of things that we've done in the past. So we're going to be working with complex commands and we'll be doing things on screen. So we'll be doing uh, overlay effects. And for the first time, we're actually going to be playing with counters in Firebot. So a counter in Firebot is kind of what it sounds like. It just counts a number. So what we're going to be taking a look at is creating a stats board or a scoreboard uh, for our game Overwatch. Uh, so I've got some assets I've made uh, in Motion and in After Effects that I'll be incorporating to this. However, if you find stuff online or make your own things, uh, you can do the same thing. Uh, I've done this with other games as well, so I have a stats board for Sea of Thieves. But I like the Overwatch stats board because uh, it's really easy and it's a great place to kind of get started with using counters. So. With that said, let's jump in to Firebot. All right, so now that we're in Firebot, we need to do a few things. The first is we're going to be creating counters. So for the game Overwatch, I actually have three counters that I want to create. Uh, one for tracking my wins, one for tracking my losses, and a third that tracks draws. So to get started with a counter, I'm gonna go over to the left side of Firebot and click on counters. I'm gonna create a new counter and I'm gonna call this wins. I'm gonna create a new counter, it's really this easy, uh, called losses. And lastly, I'm gonna create a counter called draws. All right, so if you go into the counter, if you hit edit, uh, we can go in and we can set a value. Uh, we can set a minimum, we can set a maximum, and you can add effects to the counter itself. So Firebot saves the actual counter value to a text file. And in OBS, you can read from file and display a counter on your screen permanently. Um, so if that's something you'd like to do, uh, you can open up this, how do I use this? And you'll see that there's the actual text path right here. Uh, for us and what we're gonna be doing is we're actually not going to constantly be displaying our score on the screen. Instead, we're gonna bury this in a couple of different commands. So we're gonna be creating four chat command. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit Cancel, we're gonna close out of this. And so what we're gonna do here is we're going to build the common piece and then we're gonna have our commands built out that will add numbers to it or allow us to subtract a number and then one that will just show uh, the actual stats board on its own. So to do this, we're gonna go over to the effects tab. And from the effects tab, uh, we're gonna create a new preset effect list. So this is something we did with our auto shout out commands uh, and actually just shout outs in general. Uh, again, if you haven't seen that video, uh, I highly recommend you go back and watch it. Uh, so we're gonna create a new preset effect list and we're gonna call this our Overwatch stats board. Uh, now the way that this is gonna work is we're actually not passing in any variables to this. Uh, we're just gonna let it run uh, because this isn't where our counters are going to be running. Uh, where we're going to be adding numbers and subtracting numbers, that's all baked into wh what will be our commands. This is just showing our stats board. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a new effect and I'm basically building the on-screen overlay at this point. So we're going to start by adding a new effect. And for this, I'm, I have a just a simple image we're going to use. So I'm going to look for show image. So we're going to add show image. And I have a local file I'm going to pull. And so this is stored on my desktop in my Overwatch alerts. Here's my Overwatch stats board. So we have our Overwatch stats board here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put this into a spot and that's where we're gonna start basing where our text is gonna go. So right now it is enormous and it's taking up pretty much the entire screen. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this to be in the top middle. Um, I made this graphic in Illustrator by just like tracing a screenshot of the scoreboard in Overwatch. Uh, but uh, you can, if you want, you can take a screenshot of what I've got and remake it yourself if you really feel like it uh, or make something yourself. Um, so we've got this. Now I want this to build in and I'm gonna do a slide in uh, from the 
top. So we're gonna slide in in the direction to go down, and we're gonna fade out by sliding in, to, or sliding out to up, basically. Uh, and the size that I wanna run this with is 480 pixels by 270. So I've already played with these dimensions. I already know how I kind of want this to look. So if I hit play here and tab in, you'll see that it builds in and then it will slide out after five seconds, just like that. So uh, we have our image. Now this is our base for how we're going to get our text onto the screen. So if I hit add, uh, I'm going to hit save just so I don't lose what I've already got. Uh, this is especially helpful if you are someone who likes to press escape uh, to get out of things. If you hit escape before you save, uh, you will lose what you've been working on. So I've hit save. We're going to go back in and I'm going to call this my uh, stats uh, background. So we're going to add some text and uh, just like we did show image, we're gonna do show text. So I'm gonna do show in my effect list and I'm gonna hit show text. And this is gonna kinda of start out being randomly placed. Uh, but what we wanna show is our counter value for wins, which is gonna be on the left side. We're gonna show our losses on the right side in the red portion of the stats board. And we're actually not gonna show draw, we're just gonna track draws. But we're gonna show whether we're net positive or negative for the day uh, in the middle in that circle part of our graphic. So we're gonna click on this variables button on the side. And what's really cool about this is you don't have to remember how to do variables. Uh, if you've worked with chat commands in Firebot, you'll be familiar with this variables button. Uh, what we're gonna type is counter. So if you start typing counter, you'll see that there's a counter button here or a variable option. Uh, and we're gonna add this. Now, by default, uh, it's not gonna know what counter you wanna go with. Keep in mind when you're working with a counter variable that the name of your counter is identical to what you're typing here or it won't display properly. So if you type in win, it won't work because I named my counter wins, plural. Uh, it's very similar if you've used the currency variable. Uh, make sure that you type it exactly as you see it in the counters tab. So I have wins. Uh, and I am actually going to format this text to look the way I want. So uh, in another tutorial, I showed how to install custom fonts into Firebot. Uh, this makes it really easy to work with a custom font. Uh, if you are familiar with CSS, you can also pull in a font through things like Google Fonts through CSS. However, I think it's way easier to just install the font in Firebot. Uh, and so that's what I've done here. Uh, so the Overwatch font name is called the Big Noodle 2. I have no idea why. It's kind of weird, but that's what it's called. So I've set the font size. We're going to set this to 64. And I think I want this to be white colored. So uh, we're going to choose our color. Uh, you'll see that there's a background color of the text and a text color. Uh, we're just going to choose white. It's going to make it darn near impossible to see if there's anything here. So select it and you'll see that it is, in fact, counter wins. Uh, if you're struggling to read this, you can also go to code view and this will show you what you've got in HTML. So you see that we still have our counter wins as well as our formatting. Uh, now this is gonna be just kind of in a random place for now, uh, which is okay. Uh, but we're gonna have to manually set our location on the screen. So we're gonna be playing around with OBS to pick a right uh, location. Uh, so we know that we're gonna have to do a custom location. That's fine, we'll deal with that in a little bit. Uh, but we wanna make sure that this looks the way we want. So we're gonna set this to last for, uh, I don't know, five seconds. It'll fade in and fade out. If I hit test effect and tab over to OBS, there's our zero. So it doesn't give me invalid, it's showing zero and it's smack dab in the middle of this OBS screen uh, in our overlay. Cool. So. Now what we've got to do is get this to the right place. So let's start playing around with a location. So in our uh, display overlay location, uh, we basically get to set either a top or bottom number and set pixels uh, from that and then left or right. So we want this to be in the middle of the screen-ish. Uh, 
Now, the way that this works is it's basically picking the top left hand corner of your text box. So if you haven't used a debug border in a Firebot overlay before, if you check this uh, and hit play, you'll now see a red box surrounding the text. So basically the text is gonna be around this, uh, the top left corner of that red box is the pixel location you're setting here. So what we're gonna do is we are going to set this so it's a little bit easier to figure out where we want this. Um, a, we're gonna probably shrink our container size as well. So let's, it looked really large. So it was probably four times too large. And let's shrink this down to 50. And let's hit play and see how does that look. So not quite tall enough, I think. So we should go, maybe we'll set this to like 65 in height. Play again. That looks like it's got the padding we want. Okay, cool. And it's centering. So it's gonna center in the middle of the box vertically and uh, horizontally. Uh, so we've got that set here. Now let's start to figure out where to place this. So this is something that I like to do is I'm gonna set the duration of this to be like 10 minutes uh, or a minute or something like that. So we'll do two minutes, whatever I just said, two minutes. Uh, and now let's go here and let's start playing around with our location. Almost, okay, we gotta go up a little bit. I think 125 might be the number. That looks pretty good to me. Uh, all right, so now that we have this basically where we want, one of the advantages to working on just a single uh, number, and we're gonna add a label here as well really quick. Uh, win count, let's save, uh, is that now we know our vertical placement and to move to the right, uh, it's not that far. Uh, so uh, we can actually, fun fact, we can probably just flip it from going from the left to the right, and we might be in the same spot. All right, so now that we've saved our Overwatch stats board, let's go in and we're gonna duplicate this for our loss count. So we're gonna duplicate, we're gonna edit our label. We're gonna call this loss, our loss count. And now let's update our text. I'm gonna switch to the code editor so I can see this a little bit better. And remember our loss counter that we made is called losses. And everything else is kind of the same with one notable exception. Rather than coming in from the left side of the screen, we're gonna come in from the right side of the screen. This hopefully will be in the correct spot. So if we hit test effect and go to OBS, bam, it is in the correct spot with the red. That's how easy that was. Now. It's hard to tell, but I just caught it. Because we duplicated our show text effect with our debug border on, our debug border is on our new loss count and it's still on our uh, win count. Definitely recommend double checking this. I have definitely thought that I've caught this. And then all of a sudden I'll look at my stream and the red debug border is on. So now that we've got that turned off, we can hit save. Uh, we'll save again now that our loss count is in the correct location. Uh, and lastly, we're gonna be setting up our uh, plus or minus for the day counter, which is gonna be in the middle. It's actually gonna be in this circle bit uh, right here. So the way we're gonna do that one is again, we're gonna clone, uh, we'll probably clone loss. Uh, that seems fine to me. So we'll duplicate loss count. And this is gonna be our uh, positive or negative uh, count for the day, positive negative count, we'll hit save. Now the way that this one's gonna work is that it's not just our loss counter we're gonna need. In fact, we are going to need our win counter as well. And we're gonna do some math. So we're gonna copy this and we're gonna paste it again. And we're gonna switch this to our wins counter. We're gonna add a minus sign and we're gonna add a, ver a new variable at the front. We're gonna call math and a bracket. And we're gonna do the same here at our close bracket. So that way we have both counter variables uh, within our math bracket. Uh, so if we take our counters out, uh, this is kind of what it looks like. So we have math and then we just paste our counters in with the subtraction. So we're gonna be subtracting our losses 
from our wins. And we're going to display this number. Uh, so we're going to put this in the middle. So we know that, uh, let's do like 915. We're going to start being really finicky with how this lines up. That looks pretty good to me. Right smack dab in the middle. Uh, now, one of the things you may have noticed is if I test this effect, you might see that this stuff builds in and out uh, kind of in a, its own way. So the two left build out faster than the last one, the losses. I'm not really sure why that is, but what we're going to do instead is we're going to add a really tiny delay in between our show texts that will help prevent that from happening. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a delay effect. Now, delay effects are unbelievably helpful, especially in overlays, um, because they just help give you super fine control over when things happen. So I've added a 0 0.01, uh, or a 0.1 rather, uh, 0 0.1 second delay, a 0 0.1 second delay. And we're going to copy this and we're going to paste it in between our show text for the win counter, the loss counter, and the plus or minus in the middle counter. Uh, what we also need to do is that this takes one second to build in by default. So we're gonna add an additional delay here of one second, and we're gonna update our label here to say one second. So that way, when this all builds in, we're gonna go to OBS and refresh our uh, Firebot overlay so it's nice and clean. If we run this and look at it, you'll see it builds in, the text adds in, and then it will also build in in the same order. Uh, all goes out and then that disappears. We have to adjust the, remember, we're still keeping the stats background in there for all this time. We're gonna move it to five seconds. Let's double check how long our text is here. Five seconds. I think we're gonna want this to be here for three seconds. So we're gonna update how long our text is here. Cause remember it's there for one second to come in, one second to come out, and our background is there for a total of five seconds. So this gives us enough time with the background. Let's save. We're gonna go back to our overlay. Uh, we're gonna have to refresh this bad boy one more time, but now we shouldn't have to worry about that. If we look at this, it builds in, the text appears on the screen, uh, and then it builds out and it goes away. That is our stats board. Now, the last thing we need to do is add this to an effect queue because other things can overlap, including this stats board overlapping on itself. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this to our alerts queue. And this whole thing is five seconds. So we're gonna set that this is gonna take six seconds uh, in the alert. So that way we don't have to worry about it overlapping and it has enough time to build out of overlay uh, now that we've got that we're gonna hit save and let's start looking at our command so we're gonna start by creating a win command and this is the one we're gonna be duplicating so we have win uh, and we're gonna let this have a, uh, a 15 second delay and the reason we want a delay on this is that sometimes people are typing the command for counting a win maybe it's your moderators and two mods type it at the same time, you don't necessarily want your counter to double up on the wins. Uh, so, and then you have to run it again to fix it. We don't want that. So we add a little bit of a cooldown, uh, and we're gonna let this only be usable by uh, certain people, so a permission restriction. Uh, and, and we're gonna make sure that this only works for streamers and the moderators. The first thing we need to do is we need to add this to our alerts queue. Uh, this is gonna be a couple seconds long. We're gonna take a look at this afterwards to figure out how long exactly this is gonna be. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna add a, a play video and we're gonna select it and we're gonna pick a local video. Now I am gonna do the Overwatch victory video. Now this is a video I made in uh, Motion, which is an animation app made by Apple. Uh, you can do this in After Effects. Uh, I tried to find it online, so I didn't have to make it myself, and that was impossible to get a transparent version. Uh, but you can make it. It's not too hard. Uh, and if we play this in the overlay, we'll see victory. Nice. This is six seconds long. So we have a little victory that plays. 
and then we want our uh and we also don't want this to fade in we we because of the way that my video works i just need it to just appear uh it builds itself and we don't need a second of build in uh so this doesn't have sound so i'm gonna have to add my sound next so we did play video now we're gonna do play sound All right, so we've got this sound. Uh, if we hit play, you can hear it. Sounds pretty good to me. This plays at the same time the video. We're not gonna have a delay in between the two. These should happen identically. So if I go and test the effects, we'll see our victory screen. Cool. Now we need to do some things with our counters. So we're gonna add an effect here and we're gonna look at counter, update counter. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be updating our win counter with an increment. We're gonna be incrementing not by one, but we want our command to be able to handle a couple of things. If the person who runs the command doesn't include a number, we want to assume that they just want to increment it by one. Uh, we also want it to be able to handle more than one. So if it turns out that you're a couple games behind and you just need to make sure that it's current, you can add any number you want. And we also want to make it so if you go over the number, it can go backwards and subtract. And the way that we do this is by looking at an argument, specifically the first thing that comes after the command, argument one. Uh, and we need to ensure that this number, that this argument is a number. So if we type ensure uh, number, which is a variable type, so if we look at our variables and we type ensure, you'll see that there's a variable type called ensure number. So you give it something, and if it isn't a number, then it defaults to a different number. So what we're basically saying is, verify that argument one is a number. Uh, and if it is, then increment by that number. So it could be a positive or negative. Uh, and if it's not a number, or they didn't include an argument, you're just gonna put one instead. You're just gonna assume we're gonna increment by one. So we've got this, we hit add. Here is our update counter. So we're gonna call this uh, victory uh, video. We're gonna add our labels. It's really good that you add labels. And we have our victory sound. Uh, we have our update counter, uh, win counter. So that way it's easier when we look at this to see what's actually happening. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna call in our stats board, which comes after this. So we know that our video takes six seconds to play. Our audio is eight seconds to play. We're probably gonna wanna split the difference there and go at seven seconds. So this entire queue should take seven seconds and we're gonna add a delay effect. Now I want that sound, that final bit of the victory sound to be playing just as the stats board builds in. So the whole thing feels like it's one piece. So I've added a seven second delay to the end of this. So we're gonna call this seven seconds. So we know without having to go into the effect what the delay count is. And now we're gonna call our stats board. So we're gonna add our preset effect list. So let's search for preset, run effect list. We're gonna not choose custom, but instead choose preset. And we're gonna call in our Overwatch stats board. Now, one thing we forgot to do when we set up our stats board was have a chat message that broadcasts, uh, that broadcasts our stats into the chat. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to edit Overwatch stats board. At the very end of this is we're gonna have a chat effect. So if we search for chat and hit select. Now I've already written out uh, what this message is gonna be, but basically it's a scoreboard that lists all the counter values for our win counter, our draw counter, and our losses counter. We're gonna hit paste, and we're gonna call this uh, stats uh, broadcast. Cool. All right, so we've got our stats board updated. We have our stats board selected, and then we're gonna hit add. We're gonna add a label to this, and we're gonna call this Overwatch stats. All right, so now we have our win counter set up. So, Let's hit save and let's test this out. So we're gonna connect to uh, Twitch and we're gonna run the win command in chat. So if I type win, there's our victory. All right, and then we should see our stats board build in. There's our stats board. And look, we now have one for wins 
and one in the middle. Awesome. Let's duplicate this command for losses. So we're going to duplicate this command and we're going to have this for losses. So we're going to call this loss. And what we're going to do with loss this time, let's make this a bit bigger, uh, is we're going to add a separate number to this. So we're going to say loss of two. So I'm going to type exclamation loss two. There's our defeat. And we got the correct sound, the video. And let's look at our board. We now have two and our score is minus one. So that's working perfectly. Lastly, let's do draws. Uh, so let's duplicate our loss. We're gonna rename this to draw. Uh, now, one of the things with the draw command is that it's not gonna update the overlay. We're only tracking the stats in the back end. So if I turn this on and I type exclamation draw, I'm gonna type 15. Uh, we'll see in, the o in OBS, we have a draw and we'll have our overlay, which won't show anything for the 15 number I just added. However, if we go into Firebot and look at the counters tab, you'll see that it added 15 to the draws. Final two things we're gonna do is set up a stats command that just shows the stats board. So again, we're gonna duplicate our command. We're gonna go to edit. We're gonna call this stats and this just brings up the stats board. So we don't really care about anything else. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy our run effect list from the bottom. We're gonna delete all of our effects. We're gonna remove this from the queue. We're not setting a queue anymore because we have an, a queue set on our effect list. So we don't need to double it up or it'll just take forever. So we've got this. We have our stats command set up. We're gonna set our usage to zero. And now if we hit save uh, and connect and type stats, open up OBS, we'll see our stats board shows up and it shows our stats but it doesn't play a victory or a draw video. And that is uh, the command side of our counters. Now, the last thing we are going to be taking a look at, and this is optional for you, is if you want your, uh, your counters to reset every single time you turn on Firebot. So at the start of every stream, it just wipes the numbers and your victories for the day uh, get set back to zero. My personal recommendation is to set up a uh, I call it a cleanup event, um, but it basically is an event that fires when Firebot is started. So if we look at Firebot, you'll see that under the events tab, there's an event type called Firebot started. And we're gonna call this uh, cleanup counters. And what we're gonna do here is we're just going to run our counter effect. So update counter, we're gonna hit select. We're gonna clean up our win counter and we're just gonna set it to zero. Uh, clean wins, and we're gonna duplicate this. So now, if we look at our counters, we have one, two, and 15. If I turned Firebot off and reopen Firebot, what you'll see is that the counters are now set to zero. So those on Firebot started events are really helpful. I do a couple of different counter cleanups in it. I also uh, turn a couple of things on various effects uh, when I uh, start up Firebot. Uh, so that is using counters and doing really, I think, pretty neat on-screen overlay effects to show a counter. Uh, I think it looks a lot cooler than just having like static text always sitting on your stream. Uh, and it helps your viewers interact with Firebot and kind of get used to some of your commands. That's all for this video. Uh, if you want to see more Firebot tutorials or uh, have any questions, uh, don't forget to subscribe and ask any questions down below. Uh, I love your faces and I will see you guys next time. Peace out. Stay classy.